I am Slick Neck, and you are watching this video because you want to see what it looks like if a man with a widow's peak decides to get a high and tight crew cut. So specifically, this is a number five guard on the top and a zero on the sides. And granted, it's graduated into a number three guard right there. I just got out of the shower and I am going to put some pomade in my hair. But first, I'll do a little bit of a spin here so you can see the sides. Uh, haven't really ever had this hairstyle before. Granted, uh, last time I had shaved off all of my hair with the zero guard, as I started growing it back, I ended up doing something quite similar just to help out of that. But this, this is the first time I've ever just chosen to go this short. I'm kind of getting the itching a little bit to shave it all off again with a number one guard or zero. But for the time being right now, I want to experiment with this. So what's funny when it's this short, you know, do you have to fix your hair at all? You know, before I was at least blow drying it, but there's not really a point in doing that. If anything, I guess I could put in a little bit of pomade. This is the uh, Woodley Thickening Fiber Paste. I keep several types on hand. It smells real good. So I guess I would get just a little bit just to sort of uh, give it some sort of shape. I'm not sure it's going to matter. I just got this hairstyle yesterday, so I'm not sure that it's even going to matter. But let's see. If I were to just sort of do that to give the top a little bit of uh, volume. Yeah, I'm not convinced. I always prefer to put a little bit of pomade in my hair as opposed to not, just to keep the hairs a little bit more uniform. But it really doesn't matter. I mean, and I guess for me, another thing is if I can put a comb through it and it does any difference, then that's a reason why I care about the pomade. But I don't really see uh, how that makes a difference. So there we go. There is a look at that hairstyle. You know, should I get up and like walk across the room? How about I do that? Because I think it's, I think it's important for you to see it, not just up, up, up real close, but from different angles, how it looks in real life. I'm about five and a half feet away. So that would give you an example. And I make this video mainly to help anyone out there who is considering getting the high and tight crew cut but doesn't know how it would look on them. I think uh, what happens a lot of times is if you look in magazines or even those catalogs, those books, you know, at the haircutting places, it'll have models and, you know, they're going to have thick hair. They're going to have typically hairlines that are low and boxed in. And that's not normal. That's not the norm, especially as you get older. You know, I'm 40 years old and this is uh, more reflective of the hairline and texture uh, and thickness of of a 40 year old's uh, hair. So this is how it looks on me. If you're watching this video to find out how it would look on you, now you have a good idea. And I will say, uh, it's been you know less than 24 hours since I had this hairstyle and I've only got positive reviews in real life. When I came back from getting a haircut, and I sort of did this on a whim, but when I came back from getting a haircut uh, at dinner, my wife, my, my daughter noticed immediately and said, Daddy, what happened to your hair? And then my wife looked up and said, yeah, it looks good. And even at the gym today, you know, those other guys noticed my hair. They're about my age. They said, hey, nice haircut. I, I, I need to do that. So it's one of those things that sometimes you just have to take a, take, a, take a leap and go for it. Try it out. I mean, I was prepared for this not to look great, you know. But what we have to get past is thinking that if I don't have a perfect head of hair, if I don't have the same kind of hair as a model, then I can't have the same hairstyle and it won't look good. And granted, if I had thicker hair and a lower hairline, some might argue, oh, well, it looks better. Who cares though? It's not for us to compare ourselves to model it. Instead, we can say, can I pull it off? Can I make it work? And I can tell you that however you want to assess this, we could say this is a, uh, we could call it a widow's peak if we want to. We can call it whatever we want to. But ultimately, I think that this definitely works for me. I'm happy with it. And in real life, it's got good reviews. So there's your five minute video breaking down this concept of a five guard on top, zero on the sides, crew cut specifically high and tight. If you have any comments, I'd be happy to see them right here. 
and thanks for watching. And now that the first five minutes is over with, here's the bonus material for those of you who stuck around. So what I want to do, and I'm starting to do this on a lot of my videos, basically just preparing for the comment section because I know very predictably the kind of comments that come in. So there's red pill, which is what I am, what the, the channel is. There's blue pill and there's black pill. So red people watching this video will say something like this. Nick, nice haircut, looks good on you. Embracing your hairline, em embracing the masculinity, looks great. Blue pe people will say, blue pill people will say, Nick, don't you realize you're a perfect candidate for a, for a hair transplant? Uh, why don't you take this pill and this pill? Why don't you go to do this and you can get better hair? And then there's black pill will say, there's no hope, you shouldn't even try maybe go to Turkey and get a hair transplant. So those are the types of things that people will say based on their perspective of the world. But I say red pill is the best way to go because instead of chasing happiness or saying happiness doesn't exist like black pill, I'm saying you create your own happiness. You take risk, you find out what works, but you're not leaving your happiness up to somebody else to determine it for you. You make that decision for yourself. Your comments now belong right here.